Yeah, bro. Oh, yeah, I burned you. this shit all night. That's you, my G. Thank you. That's you, my dog. Here, dog. Thank you, man. Here, throw it through. Spark that up. There we go. All right, my boy. Oh. Back, 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 back. Loud. 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 Big dog. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, before we start this video, when this video is being recorded, I had somebody help me with the first half of it, and the footage did not come out how I thought it was gonna come out. There was a lot of footage that I couldn't even use, but you guys will see when like the editing changes to mine in the second half of the video, so just bear with me for the first half. A lot of the frames are terrible, a lot of it is like underexposed, and just it's not the greatest shots ever, so if you guys can bear with me for the first half, but uh, the second half it gets better and you guys are gonna see us build some retail racks in my downstairs room and you guys are gonna know how to do it by the time the video's over so much love to all you guys enjoy the video peace we at the depot we're gonna see if they got what we need we're trying to get some retail racks some kind of piping something that's gonna come out the wall you see it's one of the fixture this is nasty though, dude. Oh. Cause that's all we're trying to accomplish, right? Really and then you just need the length of pipe to whatever you want to cut. If they already got one that's threaded. Or we can put two if it meets it. But that's what I mean. So you have to fix them. The that's down there. Let me find it. Uh, 91 inch? Yep. We need both. Damn. Alright, 200 bucks is what it cost us to get all of this stuff. So hopefully, it'll be a $200 well spent. Let's go. <laughs> Drew's staying with us, by the way. Drew's keep making appearance. What up? Uh, he's staying down here in this room, so before we get to building, we're just gonna tip his mattress up and we're gonna clean everything around. We're gonna have a nice wide open workspace. I don't know, just throw them anywhere, dog, you know? All right, Bob the Builder has arrived. We are ready to go. A foot and a half right here and then it's gonna end right here and there's gonna be a bunch of space. So uh, we're getting this first little uh, rack built here. We were uh, trying to figure out how we were gonna do it, if we were gonna build it first or then put it on but luckily Drew is extremely smart and he helped us figure it out. We messed up this little long piece, but we're gonna put a shorter one on it. We're gonna build the next one and then we'll put the clothes on. Alright, so yo, this is just a sneak peek. This ain't even the real thing. Look how nasty that looks. Oh, I think round two's in my house. <laughs> Alright, let's go boys. It's okay, we'll just crank it on there, right? Which part of it is loose? Should we figure that out? Well, we know the middle's tight because it doesn't have a 90 in it. No, we all still needs to come down. Our Richard needs to go up. You Gucci then. Don't skip her out. Lock it in tight. There you go. Is that good? good? Yeah, that's good for now. Put the other one in. Woo! Let's go! There you go. Oh, touch your wrist. Did you see it? Yeah, that's good though. That's good. All right, we've been going for like five hours or something like that, and I think we just got the first one up. I'm pretty sure there were some obstacles in the way, but we overcame those obstacles to make what you see on the wall happen right there. Yeah, I'm We're gonna do the second bar on the bottom tomorrow because we don't have everything that we need and it needs to be done 100% correctly. So we're gonna get some rest, go back to Home Depot, grab what we need, and then we're gonna finish it tomorrow. But by the time you guys are watching it, it will only be like 10 seconds. It'll be tomorrow, like probably right now. All right, y'all, welcome back to another day. This is a couple days later, but we're here on this this beautiful day 
It is Wednesday right now and uh, we're gonna get this second rod put up in my room so we can get the clothes put on and uh, so it can be like a retail store in my bedroom. So we're gonna go inside, mark up on the wall our measurements for the second pole and we're gonna get it up so I hope you guys enjoy. Let's get it. Here is our second pole right here and there is our one that is already hung. This thing's been hung for a couple days. It's been chilling. I've been watching it and uh, I think it's good to go. So we just need to slap this second one up, throw some screws through it find some wood for it to anchor to and man we are gonna have a beautiful site in here all right so you guys know a little bit more of what we're doing we have to find a stud that will be able to anchor this big ass bar into the wall but the problem is however long the pipes are it's not giving us an even stud all the way across so some of them have to have these fat wall anchors into the drywall because uh, the screw is not gonna hit the stud and uh, we want it to be like as supportive as possible obviously we want it to be able to hold a bunch of clothes and a bunch of weight. So that's what we're doing right now. We're plugging the holes that need drywall plugs and then we're just gonna rail the other ones with some uh, stud screws. Hey! So this is the drywall anchors that we're using. These holes aren't gonna be supported by a stud, but hopefully these 90 pound drywall anchors will do just fine. Look at the straight gains right here, dude, to get this baby in. But she's going in and the pipes are going up. We're putting in these screws. We're gonna get this last uh, little piece put up. But yo, I wanna shout out my boy behind the camera, R.A. the Collector. Most of you guys know my boy is Andrew or Rob the Collector. Make sure you guys go scope him out on the gram. This is my boy from Canada. This is my tattoo artist. And if it wasn't for Drew, we wouldn't have been able to hum these two things. He was like pretty much the brains behind the operation. Drew, thank you, homie. Love you. Much love, you. Thanks for the help, dog. I'm gonna be doing pull-ups in here. <laughs> You're all, hey, Kelly, I just got home. How's the things treating you? I'm all, <laughs> Kelly's in the chair. Doing pull-ups. All right, y'all, as you can see, we got both of the bars up. I'm just going through with some paint. I'm touching up some of these parts. These, uh, these bars were super dirty. Fastener's hardware was dirty, so uh, we're just cleaning up the wall, touching it up with some paint, and then we'll do the full reveal for you guys, I right? All right, y'all, so we finished. We got both of the rods up. It's all done. It looks really good. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like right now. All right, y'all, and there she blows. I'm trying to back up as far as I can, but I'm back up against the wall. So I left some clothes off of each side so you guys could get the idea of like, you know, what it looks like before you put clothes on them. So we got one rack all the way at the top. I'm going to put my big coats, my jackets, my trench coats up there. And then we have a row on the bottom. This is all Duva stuff right here. I'll probably end up putting my pants and stuff on the other side of that. So there she blows. I hope you guys like it. Man, I think it looks sick. So the reason why I did this is because I'm trying to get all of my clothes into one place right now. My t-shirts and some of my pants are upstairs. And then down here is my sweatshirts and jackets. I'm trying to get it all in one place. So I'm probably going to fill the rest of this up with stuff out of the closet right here. My denim jackets, you know, my work jackets and stuff like that. So I can bring my t-shirts from upstairs down and then everything can be in one area. So I need to get some more shoe bins and I need to do some hat storage as well. So if you guys want to see some more videos like this of me adding adding on to this room or just making more space uh, for my stuff to go. I guess like the video and let me know if you guys wanna see us go back to Home Depot and build some more stuff around this room. I'm down to uh, record it and put it on the channel if you guys wanna watch it. So make sure you smash the like button for me. But I think that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed us putting these up. I hope you guys like them. Let me know what you guys think down below. Uh, you know, it's more just a retail vibe. Get the stuff off of the ground, just in a more solid place right there. I think it looks badass. I think it looks really good. What do you think, babe? Yeah, I like it a lot. All right, cool. Thank you guys for watching. Appreciate you guys. Make Make sure you subscribe if you haven't. Drop a like, leave a comment, and we'll see you guys on the next video. All right, Sleepy, I'm out of here. Dude, thanks for filming. Drew, thanks for all your help. Peace. Ow.